Hi everyone, I'm Ms. Couch and I'm the librarian at Ocean Bay Middle School. Today I want to show you how you can get a public library card that will give you access to all of the public library books on Sora. And I'm going to show you how you connect Sora to the public library. Okay, hopefully by now you should have been able to log into Sora and have access to all of those awesome books. Your librarian or your English teacher may have shared with you this document. It's a PDF document showing you how you can connect Sora to your public library. It's going to ask you, it's going to show you a link down here that says apply for a digital library card from Chapin Memorial Library. I'm going to connect, click on that and it's going to connect me to Chapin Memorial which is going to be the application for your library card. It's going to have all of this information here that you're going to want to read about getting your digital library card. And then here it's going to have some information to fill out. First thing that you're going to do is you're going to mark down here that I am an Horry County School student. Mark this if you're a student or you mark this if you're an Horry County School teacher or media specialist. I am a teacher, so that's what I'm going to select. If you're a student, you would mark student. I'm going to show you both ways, all right? First one is a student. I'm going to select that. Name of your school. You're going to select the school you're at. I am at Ocean Bay Middle School, so that's the one I'm going to select. You're going to put in your name, last name, comma, first name. So couch, comma, Amber. Our HCS registration code is SORA. Remember, that's the name of the application. You're going to put in your birth date, 06-30-1977. And if you're a student, you're going to enter your parent guardian name. If you're putting this in as a teacher or media specialist, it's probably not going to ask you that. Okay, but I'm doing this as a student. It's going to be asking me this. Permission for minors under 18. Make sure you are asking your parents for permission to get a library card. That is always required. Okay? And then it's going to ask you for your address. I am not giving you my address. So pretend I have filled that out. And then you're going to click I agree and continue. So let's pretend I have done that information. Then you're going to, in 24 hours, within 24 hours for me, I, I got the email within a few hours, you're going to receive an email that looks like this from Chapin Memorial Library. And it says, thank you for your digital library card application. Here is your card number. And it gives you your card number. And your PIN is, and it gives you your PIN. PIN, it's probably your birthday. Cell tells you that your card is good for one year of digital access and then it's going to expire unless you come in with your photo ID and then it will turn into a real card. Okay, but it's going to be good for the entire school year, which is awesome. Make sure you remember this library card number. Notice mine's crossed out because you're not using mine. Mm, get your own. It's going to have your card number and your pin. All right, so now we're going to go into Sora. So I have Sora right here. Remember, you can get onto that at soraapp.com. You can get to that from Clever, or maybe your librarian has created a website or something like that, some other link, all right? But through Clever or through soraapp.com, all right? Now then, there's a couple of ways to access the public library. One way to do that is by clicking up here and going to add a library. You can also click here on the waffle or the three lines and click add a library. Okay, so I'm going to go add a library. You can do it. There we go. And I'm going to type in my zip code. Um, my zip code for my school is 29579. And you'll notice that Palmetto Library Consortium comes up. That is the library group that we are part of. So select the Palmetto Library Consortium. This is my library. All right. Okay, got it. Now I can search for any type of books that I am interested in. All right. 
Um, let's do a search for, here's a crowd favorite, diary, and you can do it. Now, oh, ooh, what's this? Book number six. Notice these are not available. It says place hold, but book number six is, I want to borrow that. So I'm going to click borrow. Now it's going to ask you for our specific library. Remember, we applied for Chapin Public, Chapin Memorial Library, which is the first one that comes up. Chapin Memorial. This is where you are going to enter that card number that it gave you in your email. Okay, I'm not going to type mine in right now because I don't want you to see it. But this is where I would enter it. I would hit pin, hit, type in my pin number, hit sign in, and you are set to check out whatever books you want. That easy. And you are set to go. Once you enter this the first time, you will never have to enter it again, and you are set for any books you want. That's it. If you have any questions about this, ask your librarian. They will be able to help you with it. Awesome. Have a great day.